Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always, told out of voice radio. And I'm going to be honest with you, after two Evolving Skies videos in a row, I thought I was done for like five minutes. <laughs> Apparently I'm not. We've had even more news revealed, even more stuff revealed, including, and this is really big news, a brand new kind of product we have never seen before, one that is extremely cool, and one that I am, I think it's fair to say, very, very excited about. Also extremely nervous at the prospect that it might be US only, but... Let's not worry about that for now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's think about all the fun stuff. So we might as well start off with what is being called the Build and Battle Stadium. Now, this is an official product. We've got a sell sheet and everything. And here's how it is described. Build a deck from a powerful set of components. And then play right away with this two-player Build and Battle Stadium set. Each Pokemon trading card game, Sword and Shield Evolving Skies Build and Battle Stadium, contains a massive set of cards, including two awesome Build and Battle Boxes, one for you and one for a friend. Open the Build and Battle Boxes to start building. Each one has four booster packs and a 23 card evolution pack, which includes an exclusive foil card. The selection of cards gives you a strong foundation for building a new deck to play against your friends, so get ready to face your opponents for the Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield Evolving Skies Build and Battle Stadium. Sounds kind of fun, right? So what do we actually get here? Well, you get two individual build and battle boxes. Now, this is nothing terribly new. We've seen build and battle boxes before. We, I mean, in the previous video, I showed you the build and battle boxes for Revolving Skies. They've got Rayquaza on. And these are a fairly standard product we've had, I want to say, since Fates Collide. I think Fates Collide was the beginning of them. And you essentially get yourself a promo card. A bunch of cards to actually make it possible to build a deck. That's kind of important. And then you also get yourself four booster packs. So you essentially use the booster packs. But because four booster packs in Pokemon doesn't often give you actually what you need. You essentially end up using your evolution lines. And then adding in what you can from your packs. It makes perfect sense. It sounds like an awful lot of fun. But there's more. Now here you actually get four additional booster packs. This doesn't actually particularly impress me much. Because of course if you go to a lot of local game stores like mine. Each build and battle kit will get you three extra boosters. So buying two would actually get you 14 in total. But you also get yourself 121 energy cards. That's just some energy for each particular type. And then damage counter dice, a regulation coin flip dice, two acrylic condition markers, a collector's box, and a code card. It sounds very, very much like the inside of an elite trainer's box. Because it basically is very, very much like an elite trainer box. It is weirdly similar to an elite trainer box because you get the energy and you get yourself the dice and the condition markers and the collector's box. Now, this doesn't come with sleeves. That is important to note. You don't get sleeves here, but you do get a total of 12 packs and two of the promo slash evolution packs. So that sounds pretty cool to me. Now, these are retailing for $60, whereas your standard Elite Trainer Box will retail for $40, but you do get the extra four packs here, and you get the two promos, and all you really lose out on is the sleeves. This seems like very, very good value. This, this really does seem like a pretty good deal. Put bluntly, I don't really care about the energy cards and the dice and all of that. But two build and battle kits and four extra boosters, that sounds pretty good. But it's actually even cooler than that, because on the sell sheet, it literally says, one of four unique foil promo cards, Flaffy, Galarian Articuno, Galarian Zapdos, or Galarian Moltres. They've actually gone and confirmed the Evolving Skies pre-release promos two and a half months 
before Evolving Skies comes out. Mm, to be fair, it's about two months before the pre-releases. But that's not the point. We're like two months away from the pre-releases. We literally last weekend had the pre-releases for Chilling Rain. And we're now being told the pre-release promos for Evolving Skies. Now... We don't know anything about the Galarian Birds. We've not seen them. Presumably, they're going to be in Sword and Shield 7 because that's where we get our promos from. I mean, they weren't in EV Heroes. Ergo, they have to be in Sword and Shield 7 over in Japan. We have, however, seen Flaffy, and Flaffy is a creepily similar reprint to Electric. Like, we're not just talking same ability, we're talking same HP, same attack, same retreat cost, same weakness. Everything other than the artwork, the name, and the fact that it evolves from a Mareep rather than a Tynamo. An Electric is a phenomenal card that accelerates lightning energy and was at the center of a whole bunch of decks for a long time. And that is exactly what we can expect from Flaffy. Flaffy is a phenomenal card that's going to see a huge amount of play. Honestly, I don't really need to see what the Galarian Birds actually do. I still feel pretty confident Flaffy is going to be the best of the pre-release promos. Now, this is almost certainly going to be an uncommon when it comes out over here. Fun little fact, Japanese rarities do switch around with ours sometimes. They don't always follow exactly. So just because it's an uncommon in Japan, we've seen plenty of them come over as rares. But because it's a stage one, it's going to be an uncommon. We don't see many uncommon cards that actually come around as pre-release promos. But then again... Flaffy is better than your average uncommon card. And I do really like the fact here we've got a, a really cool thing going on whereby the last time we saw this ability on a Pokemon, it was Malamar in Forbidden Light. And Malamar was one of the pre-release promos for Forbidden Light. Which is really kind of cool. Not even going to guess what the Galarian Birds do. Uh, I think I put images of the Vs on the screen. I might have done just so there was something up there. But just to be clear, it is not the Pokemon V which are coming as pre-release promos. It is, as of yet, unreleased cards. This is a brand new product we've never seen before. But let's be clear, you can assume that this is probably going to come around for other sets. This is the kind of product where they can just essentially reprint this with a slight change to the dice etc for every set moving forward i don't see this as a one-off product i see this as something which is here to stay now the free pack blisters have been revealed as well and again we don't have all of the products with all of the promos but we do have the free pack blisters here as well and they are going to be featuring umbreon and they are going to be featuring Ice Q. Now, Umbreon here is clearly, clearly the one which is going to be the most sought after of them. I don't think that's particularly unusual. This makes me a little bit sad because I'm an Umbreon fanboy. He's in my top six. I'm going to want this. And I think it's fair to assume that this particular free pack blister is going to be scalped to high heaven and that's really sad you are going to go into a lot of shops and find ice Q there but umbreon not there can i please 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 make a plea to everyone watching this video if you want to buy it for the umbreon promo buy it for the umbreon promo please don't be that guy that buys a million of them to resell at double the price because they've got an Umbreon promo. Because it's taken me until last week to get the one-pack Charmander Battle Styles blister. I found it. I found it at recommended retail price. But it, it took me like the better part of three months to actually find it on the shelves for RRP. Can we just not do that this time? Cheers all. So the Umbreon here has Blindside, one Darkness Energy, and you do 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon that already has damage on it. This is a sneaky good attack, because remember the Galarian Zigzagoon will drop one damage counter, and the majority of evolving Pokemon nowadays and techs like Galarian Zigzagoon itself have 70 HP. So you drop a damage counter with Galarian Zigzagoon, and then Umbreon to do 60, and that's 70, and that can be some cheeky KOs. You can, you can start picking off evolving Pokemon. You kind of need to go first so you can evolve into Umbreon before your opponent evolves, but that is something to bear in mind. Uh, free energy, 80 damage plus confusion we are not getting excited about. It's not good enough. 
Now, the Ice Cube, this was a Cora Cora promo we looked at a while ago. I also want this because Ice Cube is adorable. And this artwork's kind of amazing. Um, it's not good. Free Energy 100's kind of trash. The discard a water energy and draw free cards is fine. And this is a basic Pokemon. So, discard a water energy, draw free cards. I don't know if it's the most amazing draw Pokemon we've ever seen. But 120 HP on a basic Pokemon with a decent draw ability is quite nice. It can help you get rolling in the early game. I suspect that the more playable of them is Umbreon. Although I don't think either of them are hugely brilliantly playable. I just think they're kind of cool. And just to finish off here, we do have images of the contents of the Elite Trainer Boxes. Just before we get going, I have a correction from my previous video. I was very silly. I'm going to be honest. I make a lot of videos. I think my hit rate is pretty high. Every so often, I make silly mistakes. And I made silly mistake. You see, I told you there were two different artworks for the inner box and the outer box for these Elite Trainer Boxes. That was clearly dumb. If we take a look at the Leafeon, Umbreon, Jolteon, Flareon Elite Trainer Box, you'll notice it's not an inner and an outer box like the silly thing I said in the previous video. One of them is clearly the Pokemon Center exclusive. Remember we looked at those just the other day. They were revealed for the first time. They're, they're starting in Chilling Rain. And they're basically the same, except they're $10 more and they have a metal coin, metal dice, two extra booster packs and slightly different sleeves. If we can compare the Chilling Rain ones here, you can see we got the Ice Rider Calyrex ones on the screen. And you can see that the Pokemon Center one on the left is actually slightly different to the regular version on the right. If you don't live in North America, gutted, you aren't getting these because they're Pokemon Center exclusive. And they don't ship outside of the US and Canada. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. There's no real surprise here. Like, they look exactly the content. They look exactly what you would imagine. We've seen enough of these Elite Trainer Boxes now that... Basically, they look exactly like we would expect them to look. But, you know, still kind of cool. And actually, I'm lying to you because as I'm sitting here, I've just seen the one-pack check lane blisters. So we can have a little bit of a look at those as well. And these are going to be featuring Embor and Luxray. One single strike, one strapid right. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever seen anything so lovely and beautiful and sensical? Now, these are fairly standard. We've, we've seen these a bunch. You get these for every set. And you get yourself a single booster pack. And you get yourself a full evolution line of either Luxray. And that is the Luxray whereby it does 100 damage. But if your opponent has any damage counters on, you do 100 more damage. For two energy, it's all right, but it's not seen a huge amount of play. And the other one is Embor, which has got that awesome ability that lets your single strike Pokemon do an extra 30 damage. Especially when we remember that you can get this into play super easily using Mustard. And Mustard will play it from the deck. Okay, fine. It's got to be the only card in your hand when you play Mustard. But still, that's kind of cool. I think this is this is definitely my favorite of them. I might actually pick one of these up just because I love me some Embor, and this is kind of cool. They aren't alternate art promos or anything silly like that, so they're nothing to get hugely excited about. But they're still kind of cool, and we still saw them, and I don't want to do another Evolving Skies update video later today. Um, I do want to try and make sure that I've got everything in this video, so there we go. We've got the booster box artwork. That was on the screen at the beginning of the video. We've got that brand new Build and Battle Stadium product, which we've never seen before. We've got the contents of the Elite Trainer Boxes. I don't believe we've got the Pokemon Center exclusive ones, but they're just going to have slightly different sleeves, coin, etc. You've, you've seen the deal with those. And then we've seen the three pack blisters and the one pack check lane blisters. That is pretty gosh darned awesome. And I think that's everything. Although, having said that, we haven't yet seen the one-pack blisters. There's always three-pack blisters with promo. One-pack check lane with the evolution line. And then one-pack with actual promos. So either I'm going to put it in now. Or if I didn't just talk about it, we haven't been showing them yet. We'll have to talk about them in the future. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about all of this stuff. And the, frankly deluge of news about Evolving Sky. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv 
slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.